Thank you so much for doing this interview with me. I got to say congratulations on having this exhibit down at the List Gallery uh, in Yorkville. If you're ever going to have any kind of exhibit, you'd want it somewhere here. How does it feel having something like this here, especially being able to show your artwork? And basically, it's like a part of you you're sharing with Toronto. Yeah, thanks a lot. It's, uh, it's, it's a joy. I've been um, everything coming full circle. I've been doing this work more than half my life, um, expressing in this city particular being a home base and for my work to be shown in a place that is going to give me not just the respect but the right acknowledgement for what I've put in is, is, is prime for me. It's, it's uh, very affirming that a lot of things are in alignment and that the work didn't get done without uh, a vision. You know, the work got done with a vision of it having a full body displayed and it's happening right now. And to apply that, shows called We Are The Wi-Fi to show the global connectivity of intuitive expression and how it'll reach every part of the world with the right intention. You know, that is absolutely beautiful. One of the things that I noticed, the first thing when I walked in, my, my first thought was, man, this guy's got like a 90s kind of feel to this, you know, in the kind of artwork and the colors and the things that way. Uh, I'm just curious, though, were you a fan of the 90s, yes or no? I was born in 89, so in the <laughs> 90s, I was definitely just soaking up a lot of that, soaking up <laughs> colors, soaking up ambiance, a lot of the essence that, that was the expression in that time, I feel just came embedded into me because I was growing and then as I got older being able to harness that and, and express it in the colors, the figures, the textures, all of that kind of, it's all correlated for sure. Definitely. But when did you decide, like when did it all start to really connect when you started putting these colors to canvas and just knowing that you were going to become an artiste? That I can say with real confidence on um, the last teenage years. So I would say 18, 19 was really being able to travel outside of this homeland and being able to see the colors and see the references from indigenous foundations around the world and wonder why I didn't see as much as that here just in my artwork alone. I felt that there were certain colors, certain expressions that I wanted to bring from across the waters to this place. And I guess just sparking my 20s, the whole city became my art studio and been able to use everything I gained from my travels and journeys to apply it onto many, many mediums and walls and canvases on this city specifically. So definitely was traveling and seeing a lot more places that were not as monochromatic as Toronto and, and being and, able to apply that here. And I want to jump in, where were some of the places that you went to? So my mother from Chile, father from Barbados, so already very rich heritage, Central America, South American and the Caribbean, but through Central America I was able to explore Costa Rica, Panama, a few islands in the Caribbean. Wait a second, how is it that you are so thin with all that kind of background, man? I know the food, so I'd be feel, feeling that you'd be like chowing it down at everything, man. Yeah, I definitely do. Um, but I've been, I've been vegan for about seven years. I've been vegetarian for about 10. And just very aware that I have a, not just a high metabolism, but about my intake. Very intentional eater, um, very selective eater. And I just, um, yeah, I'm very healthy. <laughs> yeah, I can tell, my friend. And your work shows that spirit also. There is no, how do I put this? Um, one type of theme. How do you put together your images on canvas to tell a story. How does that come together with the colors and just with the shapes and the, you know, whatever objects or whatever in mm -hmm. the, uh, in the uh, artwork becomes what it becomes? So naturally, the colors, the figures, just the expression in itself, definitely coming from a place that is, is going to contribute to to expanding the perspectives of what it's like being in a very diverse monochromatic place, mm -hmm. right? So me bringing these colors and aligning them certain ways, it was not from learning a color wheel here, but being able to travel and see colors that don't even exist here. You know, there's insects, there's plants, there's certain elements that I've traveled and seen that I wanted to bring here, align together to continue to just stimulate that, that same feeling through the artwork in itself. Well, why don't we describe what we have next to us right here, what this is about, sir? So naturally right here, these shapes right here are just representing a balance, a balance that may not look linear, but still allows this expression to be one in itself. 
the colors here, nonetheless, are also colors that you won't find beside each other in a Western color palette or a color wheel per se, but you will find if you're in a rainforest, if you're in a tropical place, even the cactus flower in the desert, certain colors that embody other places. I brought them here and just have him showing you how he can balance all of that, even being in a place that doesn't have that. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, not everything has it though, but this one I'm particularly looking at is you use that term Wi-Fi. Am I seeing that in this picture also, the gold? Yeah, so these symbols that I would reference as, as you know, my hieroglyphical expression becomes the Wi-Fi because it is in every piece and it's something, it's signs that, well, sigils is a deeper word, but signs that continue to reflect and stimulate a communication. So I feel like when we read that, it's because it's not in an English letter print that we don't read it as a word, but that's still a language, and that's a, still a communication. So essentially, that's what Wi-Fi is. We can't see Wi-Fi. We don't know what language Wi-Fi looks like, but we know it's, it's, it's visually experienced in, in many different ways, right? So being able to look at this and have that same connectivity to see those lines representing the current of Wi-Fi. So they're in every piece. Yeah. That is absolutely amazing. What's been the reaction so far for people when they get a chance to see your work? What do they say to you? They say that I myself look like a part of the work. Like I'm just, the painting just stepping right out of the painting. Do you feel that way? That's the biggest affirmation because this is an extension of myself, right? Mm -hmm. My arm being right here, my other arm being right here, you know? It's my other arm. There's my leg, <laughs> you know, just really expressions that are, that are full um, expansions of my creative abilities, right? So just to have people continue to reaffirm that the, um, the images are regenerating new perspectives and allowing them to reintroduce certain things that they may not have, have um, been so familiar with and my work creating tangible reference points for people to now um, intake new forms of knowledge. The age of information has sent so many different things to us right to our hands so now to be able to provide certain works and aesthetic that will will represent um, a connectivity and a correlation between having knowledge come to you and things that you read in books that you see on the computer and now you're seeing it all in, pa in pa paintings essentially they're hieroglyphics you know it went from carving chisel and stone hieroglyphics to paint and canvas it's the same expression of that that, that message for the collective consciousness to consume. That message also is we don't get a chance just to see this though, but we can purchase these paintings, can't we? Yeah, yeah, they are available, you know, and, and I've been um, putting them together with very strong intentions because I know these are going to be in home spaces. Mm -hmm. I've put together organite pieces that continue to protect from radiation inside the home. So each piece would come with a piece of organite to continue to amplify the full intentional use of these pieces being more than just visual stimulants, but being full um, functional art pieces, right, for the house and for the space. Like you said, my friend, congratulations on that. Look, social media wise, where do we go to follow you? Social media, I'm doing what I personally think everyone should do is stay relevant and that's how you find me stay underscore relevant that's my handle that's a way to just kind of get connected and see a visual perspective of what I've been doing in my travels um, I have a web yeah, that's, that's Brian. His folks can you hear. He's the guy who runs the joint here. So, and just very quickly, one more time. Listgallery.com. There you go. I know you were, but you know him. He's got to make sure that you get all the information down. Look, my friend, congratulations on being part of the List uh, Gallery family. Looking forward to all this. And uh, let's stay in touch in the future when you're back here again for another exhibit. I'd love to see you again. Thank you for documenting and continuing to give us an archival presence. This work needs to be documented and put on the platforms that are going to reach all parts of the world. So thanks for the, for the opportunity. You know, it's a joy.